Hi there. I wanted to say hello today to all of you and see how you're all doing. Um, and uh, so today I wanted to talk about something that was on my mind. Recently, I have been getting a lot of, um, he seeing a lot of comments from people, generally people on my social media, even on my platform, where people are saying that it's getting harder and harder to live in this world. People are finding this world getting a little bit scarier and scarier. And I totally get it. I get where you're coming from when you say this. So I'm wondering, those of you tuned in right now, do you relate to that? Is that you? So first of all, I actually think that the people who are really struggling right now, I think chances are if you're feeling that way, if you're feeling fearful, if you're feeling the world is getting scarier. So basically when I say harder, what I mean is that uh, to be more explicit, people are finding the world is becoming scarier and scarier. And I sense that people who are struggling the most and finding things to be fearful are empaths. And so that's who I would like to speak to. I would like to speak to you if you are an empath and you are struggling and you are finding the world is becoming scarier and scarier. Um, I want to remind you the reason or I want to tell you the reason why I believe that you are struggling more and more. Of course, first of all, the external world is becoming very challenging because we are dealing with things like, um, you know, with the COVID pandemic and we're dealing with uh, not knowing um, many people are not knowing who to believe, who to trust. There's so much conflicting information. Depends who you ask, depends which TV station, which news channel you tune into, depends which politician, whatever, blah, blah, blah. There's like so much conflicting information that it is getting challenging to figure out what's really going on out there. Why it's challenging for an empath is because as an empath, you actually, and this is what I want to remind you, and you know this, you knew this when you were born, you actually straddle two worlds. You have one foot on each side. And, one, and, and what that means, what do I mean by you have one foot on each side? What it means is that you have a very, very strong connection with the other realm. Empaths just do. You have a strong connection with the other realm. You have a very strong intuition. You have a very strong connection with the energies of the universe. It's just the way it is. And, and the thing is that when there is all this stuff going on here in the physical world, it draws you, it sucks you into this drama, this fearful drama that's going on, and you lose touch with that other world, which is actually a place where you feel really at home. So this is part of the reason why empaths really struggle or are really struggling currently. And I want you to think about it. Like for over a year and a half, we have been going through this turmoil, this global turmoil. Um, and it really is a turmoil, more than a pandemic. It's a turmoil because there is so much, um, there are so many different viewpoints and there is, there is lockdowns and there is a mask and no mask and all these things and people unable to see their loved ones. And so it's causing a lot of trauma for a lot of people. People who have been able to manage their lives um, up until then, some of you, your lives are coming undone and you're dealing with um, depression, trauma, all kinds of things are coming to the surface right now. So we are dealing with all this um, happening. And as an empath, you're taking this on. And because there's so much of it going on in the world, because the field, the energy field around all this, um, all, all this pandemic related uh, trauma is it's so strong and it's so loud empaths are like taking it on and almost losing touch with the fact that you have this incredible connection with the other side it's that connection with the other side 
that is going to help you through this. And that's what I, why I'm here today is to remind you to get back in touch with that connection, to navigate this. It's so important that you, that you do this because this is actually what's going to help you not only to navigate yourself, but also to help the people around you and to help the planet at large. And it doesn't matter to me which side of the argument you're on, which side of the fence you're on when it comes to um, the vaccines or which political side you're on. All of that is one thing. All of that is a here thing. My um, point or my message is we have to get in touch with the part of ourselves that's connected to there, the part of ourselves that is bigger than this physical body. Because remember, and I have said this before in my past videos, and please check out my early videos, I have often said that when I died, I realized that the invisible part of me, the, un the part of me that was non-physical, was actually much greater than the physical part, much greater. The physical me was only like the tip of the iceberg, and if you know an iceberg, um, the tip is all you can see, and that is only about 10 to 20% of the iceberg. You can't see a bigger part of it, that's 80% of the iceberg. This is the case with us. You can't see the bigger part of you. Uh, there is more of you that is invisible, that is your, um, your consciousness, your spirit, your soul, your higher self, whatever you want to call it. There is so much more of you that is invisible. When you, what happens is when the drama here in the physical gets so loud that it has you completely living in your 20% and completely operating from your 20%, that's when life becomes difficult. That's when you lose sight of who you really are. You lose touch with how powerful you really are. We actually have the power to change the world if we came together and realized that we actually, that we actually are six sensory beings and that we are much greater than our physical bodies. So this is why I want to remind you and invite you to spend more time getting in touch with that higher self. Um, what happens, and so back to you, you have one foot on each side. What happens with us is that when we live our lives too much on the other side, way too much, and we forget that we are here as a physical being having a physical experience, what happens is that we lose touch with the physical and we end up not being able to live our lives in the physical. We end up not being able to hold down a job, make money, put food on the table, and we end up not enjoying having a physical body and the physical things uh, you know, because we chose to come here because we wanted to actually experience the joys of being physical. Because on the other side, you can't enjoy the taste of chocolate because you don't have biology, you don't have taste buds. We came here to enjoy being in relationship and feeling people's hugs and love, the love of our pets, our children, um, the love of a partner, a spouse. We came here to enjoy eating and and so when we renounce this world completely, we miss out on what we came here for. But at the same time, when we renounce that world and we are only immersed in this world, we actually struggle and we lose a huge part of ourselves. So this is why it's important to remember you have to have one foot on each side. When you renounce that world and you think you are purely a physical being and you get caught up, like totally caught up in the drama that's going on here, the fear. Um, remember, news only spreads fear. So I always advocate limit, absolutely limit your uh, time watching the news. Limit your time on um, fear-based uh, reporting. Um, it's, it's really imperative because because that's what sucks you into believing that you are limited. When you only listen to the fear-based dramas here, what that convinces you to believe is that you are a victim of your life and your circumstances. And you only feel like a victim 
when you forget that you have this huge and powerful self that is beyond your body that is connected to something more. So limit your time on the news and instead spend your da time doing other things that connect you with the other realm. You can go walking in nature, you can meditate, you can send energy. What I do is I send energy out to the world, to the people. I send energy to, to our governments, to people who are struggling, who are suffering, because I want them all to be uplifted. There's many things that are reported in the news and we don't know what's true, what's not true. I actually, what I do is I send love and energy and, and a desire that anything that I don't like, I, I don't want it to be true. So I send it love and energy in the hope that it gets alleviated and that it's not true. So, and you can do that. You can do that by just visioning these things. Vision, envision your whoever it is, your healthcare workers, your government leaders, anybody. Envision them surrounded by light and love and see them as a child of God and and send them loving energy that may they do what is um, what is for our the human our the people's highest good and not serve a personal agenda of their own so we can actually send them these loving thoughts but how do we get to that space ourselves as well so so one of the things I do, as I said, is I, I like to send these loving thoughts out into the world because as an empath, you are very powerful. You are very connected, whether you realize it or not. When you send those loving thoughts, it changes your energy and it changes the energy of the people receiving it. But the other things I do just to keep my own energy high, I have been journaling for months now because that really helps me. It helps me to stay connected with the other side. It helps me to keep one foot on the other side. And um, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video where I shared with you some of my journaling prompts. That makes it easier to journal when I have these prompts. And um, one of the things I, I, um, I write every day is, where is my energy level at today? If it's lower than yesterday, I ask myself, why is it lower? What are the things that triggered it? If it's higher, I ask myself, why is it higher? What are the things that cause it to be higher so that I can do more of that? Um, and, I also, um, and I also write about things like, um, how can I uh, increase my energy? Um, I will also journal about things like, am I exercising? Am I spending time in nature? I'll kind of keep track of these kinds of things to kind of keep me on track. I don't judge myself if I don't do it, but I do like to kind of prompt myself that, oh, I haven't moved today, so maybe I should move. Or if I realize at the end of the day, I haven't moved enough today, I make it a point tomorrow to move more. Another thing that's super important for me to journal, <clears throat> excuse me, is whenever I have experienced a synchronicity of any kind, Something like that's really amazing that is so, um, you, you know, like uh, if I'm seeing a whole bunch of monarch butterflies that land in my garden at a time when I'm thinking something and I will journal about these things or certain pictures that pop up on my news feed on social media that are specifically meaningful to me or that answer a question I'm asking or a song that plays that, that gives me the answer to something I'm asking. When these synchronicities come up, I journal them because I can look back at them and I can see how guided my life really is. Um, another thing that I've started doing, which I shared with you a few, a couple of weeks ago, was that I bought myself one of these drums, which is a, Komins a Kosminski drum. Um, and, I, and I shared with you in that video, I would love for you to check that video out, the synchronicity, because I had been, Literally, Abby, my assistant Abby, said to me that um, that she had bought a Kosminski drum for her partner, and I said, "Oh my God, I've been wanting to drum," and so I started researching it, and then I thought, "Oh, I want to, uh, I want to hear them before I buy one," and then literally the next day, somebody had a whole bunch in in their home for me to buy. And anyway, so please watch that video. But what happened is after I shared that video, the people at Kosminski reached out to me and said, thank you so much for talking about us. And we would love 
to um, we would love to help you out. So what they're going to do is sometime down the line in the future, um, I'm going to run a competition where somebody can win a cos a cos Cosmoski drum. I'm, I don't want to say it wrong. I apologize. It's Cosmoski, K-O-S-M-O-S-K-Y, a Cosmoski drum. Um, they are absolutely the best. They reached out to me and uh, they, they thanked me for... Um, and, and so I was really thrilled. So that was another synchronicity. It was like, oh my gosh, they saw my video. I hadn't even tagged them yet at the point they saw it. So what I notice is when I am aware that I am living with one foot on each side, when I am aware to constantly be in touch with that higher self and to honor it and to know it's there and watch out for the signs and the synchronicities, when I'm aware of that, more and more of that happens. More and more of it comes to me. That's what I'm here to remind you. Right now, as I speak, there's a monarch butterfly fluttering right outside. And today it's Danny that's holding up the phone, not Abby. Um, Abby wasn't able to make it here today. And so Danny doesn't realize, but behind him, um, there's a glass window and right behind the glass window, there's a monarch butterfly. Oops, nope, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> it let oh gosh it's back but no I bet by the time you go it's under the bushes it goes it keeps going up and down but there you go you see I talk about them and they and they appear so you will start to feel again that the world is a magical place when you remember that you actually should be having one foot on each side and when you realize the reason you're struggling is because you're way too immersed. You're way too immersed in the 3D physical, which is at this moment just um, loud and thick with perpetuating fear-based messages. So climb out of that, climb into your sixth sensory, four-dimensional self and tune in to the rest of your iceberg. <laughs>